Good morning, everybody. Mine's going to be very short and very sweet. No pictures. You're going to have to use your imaginations. Um, I've got two verses that I immediately came to mind when Grant asked me to share today. The first one is... Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. Does everyone know that one? Does that touch a lot of hearts? A lot of parents' hearts? And the other one is, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Proverbs 22, 6. Um... Today I wanted to share with you how powerful our prayer group is. I have had a long journey with my career. I've been at Warunga for 22 years. I came back and started as a teacher there. My first posting was in Queensland at a little state school um, called Deception Bay because I did half of my study at Avondale and half at Griffith Uni. So I was sent up to Deception Bay State School where I taught in a team situation with another lady called Mrs Young. And we had 60 students and the two of us had to work out how to work together. That was my first posting. So in between that I did teaching and I also worked in our family company which was um, mainly in entertainment and I worked overseas for a long time in Nashville. And then I came back and met my husband and teaching just fit that bill perfectly where I started at Warunga. So I've been at Warunga for a long time. I had Anthony Kent across the road at the division. I had Dr Chester Kent up in obstetrics at the SAN and I also had my mum Rosemary Ells working at the school. So it was nice to walk down Fox Valley Road and wave to family members. It was really lovely. But my children were at Central Coast Adventist School and and so was my my home was on at the coast. So I started to I would go down on a Monday and come back on a Thursday. So it was very lovely. I would spend the week as a single lady <laughs> going out to restaurants with my mum and um, go to movies and then I'd come home and the, my Four children and had chicken nuggets and watched my husband footy train four nights a week. So <laughs> I started to think it might be nicer to, to be around the kids. Anyway, there, that started about six months ago, a bit longer actually, where I started to think it would be nicer to be closer to, to home for work. And I started to look everywhere. Um, But it wasn't until I went on a surf camp with Pathfinders, I had a real spiritual epiphany and I thought, why am I trying to control all this? Why am I working like, you know, digging holes and trying to send out resumes and find things? I need to let go and let God. And that's that's hard for a lot of us. We want to take back our will all the time, but we have to hand it over every morning to him. And so I started doing that. Just my alarm would go off and I'd say, thy will be done today. Lead me whatever you want me to say. Make it come out of my mouth. And things started to change. I started to get really open with Kevin, didn't I? Kevin Smith. He'd say, would you like us to pray for you? And I'd say, right, here we go. And I'd give him a long list, very detailed. And he'd say... Wow, that's... I know you were saying, you're an (laughs) oversharer. But I started praying specifically for certain types of things and especially in the way that God wanted me to go. And at the end of last year, I'd, I'd spoken to Mrs Kent here at church and I'd even mentioned to her that I would love to be up here closer at CCAS. And then... At the end of the year, I got a random call from the principal, Tony Kent, and he said, I don't have anything for you here at CCAS, but you're on my radar and 
I just wanted you to know that. And I said, oh, what made you give me a call? Have you called lots of people today and told them that? And he said, no, I just, at eight o'clock this morning, thought, oh, I want Tamara to call me and I want to tell her that. And so over Christmas we went on a holiday over to the west and I still did not know if I was going to be at Warunga and I just danced through the sand dunes and picked flowers like a happy person who didn't know what tomorrow would hold but I knew who held tomorrow and at big camp I received a phone call from Craig Davis who said I have three terms of work for you would you like it so I am now trying to keep up with Sam who's on one side, and Carola Parker on the other, and they are powerhouse women. And I'm teaching you three for the rest of the year. So I just want to say thank you to Cherie Tipple uh, and everyone else who prayed for me because you made it happen. So thank you. Have a lovely Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs>